Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, it's getting very serious, folks. Very, very serious in North Korea. They have nothing to lose. And that even makes Kim Jong-un even more dangerous. Here's the situation. Last Monday, uh, the North Korean government was told, has told the world that we should ready ourselves for a nuclear war on the Korean peninsula. According to official statements, North Korea has armed forces they are, and they are military ready and they've put their nuclear arsenal on standby, operational, military ready for a preemptive strike uh, against the mainland of South Korea and the United States. Now, usually news editors love such statements that come out of North Korea like this. But this is a little different because the United Nations, the United Nations Security Council Resolution 2270, which was passed on March the 2nd in response to a nuclear test that North Korea conducted back in January. You remember when they exploded that hydrogen bomb underground, followed by this missile launch they did in February, where they literally sent a satellite over top the stadium of the Super Bowl an hour after the game was over. Uh, resolution 2270 is much tougher than earlier resolutions and is essentially unprecedented in history. Among other things, it bans North Korea from exporting such minerals as gold and titanium, as well as coal. Coal. Now, coal, exporting of coal is 40% of North Korea's total exporting they do in the world. This is, I mean, this is it. This is their number one product and brings in the most revenue for their nation. So a ban on the sale of aviation fuel also to North Korea has been introduced. In other words, no one's allowed to sell them aviation fuel for their planes and jets and what have you, rockets. As this harsh restrictions on North Korea, shipping uh, will bring a financial catastrophic event is what this will probably bring. Now, additionally, the United States and South Korea have introduced their own unilateral sanctions as uh, uh, Seoul, South Korea has closed down the industrial zone. That's where there's 120 South Korean companies uh, manufacture products and they employ 50,000 North Korean workers that come across the border and work every day and go home. Okay? 50,000 of them. Well, they won't be coming to work anymore, which this cripples the economy and of these individuals and also North Korea. So meanwhile, the United States is going to sanction all third country bank, all third world country banks or or any bank, a third party and other companies which are engaged in any transactions with North Korea. So if you're doing, if you're a bank in another country and you still want to do business with North Korea and could care less what the United States and what the United Nations says, the United, United States will come after you. Okay. So this is getting uglier. And basically what this has done is put Kim Jong-un in a, uh, a desperate situation. He has nothing to lose. He either has to come back to the table, apologize to the world, sign new agreements that North Korea will no longer be involved in this uh, unbelievable behavior and threatening the world with nuclear arms, or his nation will fall apart. And when you're in that situation, a madman might do something mad. He might actually fire the nukes. I'm telling you, this is a critical moment. And... If there's going to be a third Obama term, North Korea might be what causes it. So keep a close eye on this. Because um, if North Korea was to do a preemptive strike, uh, you would have in China, everybody would go completely ballistic here. And uh, we're talking uh, this the beginning of World War III. It's a dangerous situation. Uh, we really need to pray for the people of North Korea and South Korea everyone in the South Pacific, because it is in a dangerous, dangerous 
situation. We're in prayer. This world has gone crazy. Pray, please. If you're not saved, give your life to Jesus Christ. We are truly running out of time. There's some wonderful people in North Korea. Some of the strongest Christians in the world live there. They have been persecuted. They have been put to death. They have been falsely imprisoned. They have been made slaves. And they still keep loving Jesus Christ, though their life is literally in danger. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're running out of time.